Las Vegas brings the heat, we bring the dough. One million to be exact. If a qualifier beats three pros and heads up, no limit, Texas hold them. They go home a millionaire. If they lose once, they go home with nothing. Think you're a poker shark? Then prove it. Beat one ace, win $40,000. Beat another ace, win $200,000. Beat a third, you're a millionaire. Lose once, lose everything. A breed of poker unlike any other. Face the ace. By day, our next qualifier is a real estate appraiser. By night, he's a bass player in a band, married with one child and another on the way. He wants to win the big money to add a bedroom onto his house. From Cypress, California, let's meet Brian Twitty. Yeah. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Brian. Very good. How you doing, man? Very good. Got a lot of fans here. Sounds great. It sounds good. So. You're a pretty confident guy when it comes to playing poker, it seems. Right? Absolutely. been playing a lot of hours, and I love doing it. If you had a choice, who do you want to play against? Anybody in particular? Mm, I'd like to play against Phil Ivey. You'd like to play against Phil? So you want to go right to the best, to the top? So you're a little cocky? <laughs> Absolutely. Cocky or confident? Both. A little bit of both. OK, and now you have a baby on the way. Yeah, I have a How baby due at the end of uh, January. Really? And, and now you're hoping boy, girl? Or well, I have a beautiful little two-year-old baby girl, so I'm hoping, you know, I'll have a boy to carry the name on, and uh, we'll find out when we get back. All right, buddy, it's picking time, okay? Behind these four doors are four world-class poker players. Brian, for $40,000, tell me which door is it going to be? The Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts! This ace is one of the best mixed game players on the poker circuit. With two World Series of Poker Bracers and countless other accolades, this ace terrorizes opponents in the biggest games in the world. Your $40,000 ace is Megan. Jennifer Harmon. Jennifer Harmon. Come on out. Hey, Brian. How, how are you? Say hi to Brian. Good to, you. Very good good to see luck. you again. Come on, guys, to take a seat. How are you, Jennifer? I'm good. It's always good to see you. Very Thank pleasant. Thank you. Brian, my friend. Yes. What do you think? Do you know much about Jennifer? Yes, I do. You, you, you follow her game. You, you know all the ins and outs of her. You know how to beat her. Absolutely great live player. He is very confident. I think you have your work cut out for you here. Okay, let's go. So ready to go? Yes. For $40,000, Brian, are you ready to face the ace? Yes, I am. Let's go. Good luck. Once again, poker director Ali Najat back to set the ground rules for the $40,000 match. Well, Jen, Brian's got a big smile on his face, and like Steve was saying, he seems pretty confident, right? <laughs> Well, my face too. So. She definitely does. So you don't need a spot, right? We'll start you both with the same chips, twenty thousand apiece. The blinds will be two and four hundred. It's a no limit Texas Hold'em freeze out as always. Here, all you got to do is take all of this little lady's chips, and you've won the match, forty thousand dollars, and of course, a shot at two hundred grand. Brian Twitty, good luck. Thank you. All right. Well, qualifier Brian Twitty has been playing poker for many years, though probably not as many as he's been playing the bass. That number is 32 years. He's part of a rock and blues band named the Twitty Committee. Let's make it... A longtime bass player with Ace King. 18. And he'll raise on the first hand. Jennifer Folds and the qualifier picks up the first pot. So you nervous? Mm, I'm feeling... I'm, nah, I'm excited. A couple more hands and I'll be in the groove and be playing poker. Just wax me out, move on, go win a million. <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> I agree. I agree. The first time you ever lost $100,000 sure wasn't like winning 100000 Yeah, I wanted to cry. I'm a little girl. I wanted to I cry. I think the majority of people would feel that way that have common sense. Would want to cry? <laughs> <laughs> Hard.
Harmon with a king on the button. 17. And she makes it 1,700 to go. And Twitty has ace king again. I call. And he makes the call. A slow play from the qualifier. Twitty misses the flop. Harmon with a straight draw. Check, check. The turn is no help to either player. Twitty still in the lead. After the qualifier check, Harmon bets her straight draw. And Twitty can't call. The pro wins her first pot. So is your wife here? Yes. She's in right the there audience? on the end. Jeannie. Hi. Like I dream of Jeannie. Yeah, kind of, huh? Yeah. I'm a lucky man. Brian and his wife met while he was promoting his band at a local club. They recently started their family. A two-year-old daughter and one baby on the way. Deuce four for Twitty. I raise. 16. He makes it 1,600 with one of the worst hands in Hold'em. More clubs for Harmon. Queen Trey. And after some pause, she makes the call. You smile because I let you in cheap, huh? Bottom pair for Harmon, and she checks. Middle pair for Twitty. Let's go 26. And he bets 2,600. Good sized bet. And Jennifer makes the call. First big pot of the match. Well, he didn't need to, but Twitty improves his hand. Two pair now. 56. Harmon checks, and now 5,600 bet by the qualifier. Yeah, Jennifer can't continue. I did not want to see anything red come up. Anything red? I didn't want to see any red card. I'm like, please, just. If you call, make it black. You had queens? Uh, I don't. Well, that's I show, I but I say. don't tell. How's that sound? Okay. <laughs> I'm just no, I thought, I, I thought I heard you say you had queens. No, I didn't have red cards. You were, okay. you were safe. <clears throat> I had a pair. That turn card probably gave the qualifier the confidence to bet again. There was nothing Jennifer could do on that hand. 3,000. Oh, but queen nine, a little better here. And she puts in a raise. Three total or three more? Three I call. Twitty calls the raise. 6,000 in the pot before the flop. Hmm. And a good flop for Brian. He's got a flush draw. Okay. Nice flop for Harmon, too. She's got an open ended straight draw. King or an eight would give her a straight. 45. And she bets 4,500. Pretty big moment in this match. Twitty shouldn't fold this. Question is whether to call Harmon's bet or put in a raise. Oh. And he calls. Uh-oh. <laughs> A huge turn card for the qualifier gives Twitty a flush and an unbeatable hand. He checks. Harmon doesn't fall into the trap. She checks. Ace changes nothing. I'm all in. And Twitty moves all in. Jennifer quickly nice mucks, hit. and Twitty picks up a nice pot. You look really, really nervous. Are you sure you're not nervous? <laughs> Would have been if you called me that hand. Really? <laughs> Jennifer made a pretty good read. The qualifier does appear a bit nervous. A lot on the line for a husband, <laughs> father, and bass player. A win gives him 40 grand or a chance to play a second pro for $200,000. No room for error. A loss, and he goes home with nothing. King four off suit for Twitty. Call. And he limps into the pot. 
Jennifer checks and we'll see a flop. And it's a monster flop for Twitty. Trip fours. And he decides to slow play. And he'll slow play a second time. Not the standard way to play this hand. Twitty's hand still best after the river. Jennifer puts out a small bet. I'm all in. Twitty moves all in. I have seven high. I can't call. <laughs> nice hand. Huh? Oh, I didn't even bet enough. So what kind of music do you like? All kinds. All kinds? Everything, yeah. You play the... I play the bass. I do yeah, a little yeah. singing. Really? Whenever I sing to my son, he goes, no, mommy, please, no. My little girl's name's Charlie, L-E-E. L-E-E, -E, like, you know, that perfume, Charlie, and they call it Charlie. We saw it on an Oprah thing, and they're thinking, yeah, you know, Charlie. So that's what... So you named your kid from, from an Oprah show? No, not from an Oprah show. We, from the perfume. But, but I, we, we saw it again on the Oprah show. I, I shouldn't even be saying I saw Oprah with my wife. That's horrible. You know how many guys are going to kill me for that? I <laughs> say, what the heck? It was a tape. She taped it, and we're like 11.30 in bed. Swear. It's okay. You can say that you saw Oprah with your wife. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm all in. Wow. Oh. I guess I have to go. I call his ace is good. Well, Brian Twitty has put himself in a good position to win $40,000. If he wins this pot, he'll have to decide whether to keep the I money or yeah. try to play for two hundred dollars If he loses this Watch pot, he'll luck. be down in chips to one of poker's toughest pros. Watch that ace. Come on, ace. Brian, my friend, another big bet, and this time you got called. How do you feel? I'm ready. I'm ready to see the flop, turn, and river. ASAP. <laughs> yeah, I can't put it much better than that. I know he's got the best hand right now, and he's got Jennifer covered. Okay, the flop, please. Ace, baby. Ace, baby. Ace. The flop is eight high. Rainbow. Ace high, still looking good. I still want to see an ace, though. If you're an ace, okay I'm there, dead. You all right? <laughs> an okay. ace would end it, Steve. Brian doesn't want to see a king or a jack. The turn. Turns another seven. Brian's got to dodge one of six cards in the deck to pick up 40 grand. What do you think your wife is thinking right now? Uh, she wants to... I can do it. You got confidence in him? Yep. That's a good woman. Yeah, all right. Come on, Ace. the river, please. It's a king of spades. Jennifer Harmon has just doubled up. It's all right. I'm still All right, there. all right, all right. You're so mean. Oh. Look at you. I know I am mean. OK. Back to the drawing board. Yes. What a difference a single card can make. All in with the best hand, Brian Twitty could smell the 40 grand. But a river king handed him a major setback. Our qualifier's uphill climb begins after the break. Qualifier Brian Twitty's $40,000 match continues, but the landscape has changed quite a bit. He was one card away from winning the match. I thought you were going to win that one. I did, too. Yeah. Well, now it's Jennifer Harmon who has the chip lead and the momentum. Jennifer gets a look at an ace. Six. She makes it six grand with ace Trey. Twitty hoping to be able to fight his way back. I'm all in. And he can. He goes all in with ace queen suited and a quick call by Harmon. You have me dominated. Brian Twitty hoping his hand can hold up this time. Come on, Susie Q, baby, I love you. Susie Q. Brian, you're in a good position to double up? You happy? You got a smile? I, I'd love to see a Susie Q. Cocky and confident. That's Let's what we're it. going for. Yep. One thing Brian knows, though, is the best hand before the flop doesn't mean as much as after the river. And he's got Jennifer dominated right now with ace queen against ace three, but she's got him covered. He needs to double up. Can we see the flop? 
queen, baby. It's queen. Yes. There he, he got a queen on the flop, Steve. He is sitting very pretty right now. And the turn. The turns of three of clubs. We always keep it interesting, don't we? It's never easy. Another three on the end, ace, and it's the ace, end of the baby. road for Brian Twitty. Anything else, and he's going to double up. Just put an ace for fun. Yeah, I'll take an ace. And the river? The last time I had this hand against that hand. Ooh. Five of diamonds. Brian Twitty's just doubled up. But he doubles up. All right, all right, all right. All right. Keep it going. The last time I had this exact hand, it came 3-3. Three, three. Runner, runner, threes. I'm glad you told me after the river. I was going to tell you before she put it up, but you, she did it too fast. <laughs> you know, you have to make your heart race a little bit, right? Yes, yes. The old no pain, no gain. Exactly. Well, this match has been a great example of the swings of No Limit Hold'em. Twitty was a card away from 40 grand, then he was behind, now he's back in the lead. I'm not going to fold too many hands here. I understand. The short stacked Harmon admits that she's so low on chips, most hands will result in an all in. She doesn't get her shot here. Twitty folds five deuce. Small blind in the button over to Jennifer. Does Susie Q mean a queen? Is that what it means? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got my little poker talk. I'm all in. Queen eight, good enough for Harmon to move all in. I call. And another shot for Twitty to win 40 grand. Come on, Kojak. Who loves you, baby? Right, Kojak, you remember that. I remember Kojak. I'm 44, I remember the show. Oh yeah, I'm getting exhausted getting up and down. Come on. <laughs> it's the most exercise I've had. We've been here before. Is this your time? Is this, this it? Is it. Top Jimmy, baby. Is this the one? All right, King Jack against Queen Eight suited. King High, the best hand before the flop. And Brian's got Jennifer covered here, Steve. And the flop? Flop me a king, baby. King, king, king. 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 Three tens on the flop. King High still in the lead. Wow. Brian doesn't want to see an eight or a queen roll off. And the turn. What a ten. Yes. It's a jack of diamonds. However, jack Brian's diamonds. not out of the oh, yeah, woods yet. Yep. Jennifer can hit a queen or the nine of diamonds to give her a straight Ooh. flush. Any other card, and Brian Twitty's 140 grand. You hear that, Mom? <laughs> okay, in the river. The river's the ace of diamonds. Brian Twitty wins with a full house. Yeah. Yeah. $40,000. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was exciting, it man. It was exciting. Well, we got to talk to you for a All sec. Right. How are you, man? That was exciting. You were great. Cocky, confident. You had your wife at your side. He's a good player. He's a good player. He's a good player. Good for player. Sure. He was cocky. He was a little cocky, confident. You have to be cocky. Just the right amount? A little bit, yeah. Can he win the million? Of course. But I'm not going to make the decision. Oh, wait, for if him. you were him. Would you go for 200000 Come on, Jennifer. Yes. You would. All right. You're feeling good? Your wife's with you? She's for you? Mm -hmm. No decision yet. Take yeah, it I easy. I was going to say, give me a couple Sweet seconds Sweet music here. for the bass player. He could walk with forty grand if he wants, or he can give it up and play for two hundred grand. We'll find out his next move after this 